Hey guys, Steve here with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today I'm going to show you how to change this, an air filter on this KTM Adventure R. Keeping your air filter maintained is important, and today we're going to show you how to do that on this 2017 KTM Adventure R 1090. This also applies to the 1190 and 1290 as well. KTM recommends replacing your air filter at 9,300 miles and then again at 18,600 miles. You may want to inspect and replace it earlier depending on your riding conditions, whether you're in dusty or muddy conditions, and we offer a number of different filter options for this bike. So let's get started. To do this job, you're going to need a basic set of hand tools. KTMs like to use Torx bits, and so make sure you get a set of those. Rags and rubber gloves are important, and safety glasses are very important. Always refer to your machine's OEM safety manual for proper safety information, procedures, and torque specs. Here at Rocky Mountain ATV MC, we offer a variety of air filters. Based on your riding conditions, pick which one that suits you. To begin, start by removing the seat, side fairings and tank cowling, two vent hoses, fuel level sending unit connector, on the underside of the fuel tank, there are two fuel valves or pet cocks that you need to make sure you turn off before you remove the crossover fuel line. You want to make sure to use a rag on the crossover line. Then remove the main fuel supply line and electrical connector to the fuel pump. Next, remove three fasteners on the tank and remove the tank. When you pull the tank off, be careful not to lose the rubber grommet under the front of the tank. Then disconnect the airbox crankcase hose. It's kind of a tight fit, so be careful. Remove the electrical connector from the airbox lid and the eight fasteners. Remove the lid. Pull the rear bracket out first to release the air filter. Okay. So there's a wedge shaped design right here. And when you slide this down, there's small grooves that you need to make sure to line up. And when you slide those down, it forces this housing against the air filter and it forces it against the air box to create the seal. As you can see, the filter is not very dirty. We're gonna go ahead and clean it anyway. Refer to our air filter maintenance video for more information to see how that's done. Now that the air filter is clean and installed, reinstall the airbox lid and electrical connector. Go ahead and tighten these in a crisscross pattern. During this process, be sure to inspect the intake screen. Now these uh, filtration socks are really nice because they, they'll stop any larger debris from traveling through uh, this screen that goes along this intake duct into your air boot. It's kind of like a pre-filter before uh, the actual air filter. So these are, these are pretty inexpensive and they're, they, they go a long way and they're nice to have. Next, you just install the sock by sliding it right over top. And they're a snug fit. And then we just reinstall the cover. Then install crankcase hose, fuel tank. Make sure not to lose the rubber grommet when installing the fuel tank. Then install electrical connectors and vent hoses. Next, the fuel crossover line and fuel main supply line and fuel pump electrical connector. Then install the tank cowling and side fairings. And then the seat and you're all done. And that's it. Keeping up on your air filter maintenance is important. Don't forget to visit our website, RockyMountainATVMC.com for parts, apparel, and accessories. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is your How-To Mechanic Steve. Catch you next time.